I never suspected light chain amyloidosis, but the symptoms I started to um, have were probably back in around 2006. And it started um, pretty basically, um, ga gastrointer, um, inter, uh, intestinal kinds of issues. Um, I attributed it to food allergies. I thought is, you know, I never had them before, but as I was moving through aging process, I was in my late 40s and I thought, well, you know, as you go into the pre-menopause, menopause time of life, um, maybe I was developing some food allergies. So I began to eliminate foods from my diet, you know, as anybody would do, thinking I just won't eat those kinds of foods. And um, it never made a difference. So it seemed like I got my foods down to like almost nothing. And I was still having, you know, the same uh, major issues. Um, second things that I noticed, again, you know, very basic kinds of things. I noticed that my fingernails were starting to be very different. Um, they were splitting, they were chipping, they weren't growing. Um, they were um, opening up kind of at the nail bed. And um, that was a new thing. And my hair texture, I was not losing my hair, but the texture of my hair was to me felt differently. And I would ask my hairstylist or my husband at the time, um, he was still alive, and I would say, um, does my hair feel different, you know? And he'd say, no, no. And, and the hairdresser said, no, you know, there's no diff problem with your hair. And I thought, okay, I guess it's just me. Um, talked to my PCP, he did like any physician would normally do. He ran some basic blood work, said you're probably vitamin deficient. And yes, as most people are, they're vitamin deficient. And um, we tried vitamins and it did absolutely nothing. And it just kind of snowballed from there. I mean, I sat for a few years and really didn't do anything. Um, I had one episode of passing out. Um, it just kind of happened out of the blue and I realized now that was associated, but I didn't know it at the time. Um, and it was during Christmas holidays of 2008. And so we're talking several years after the initial symptoms started. Um, 2008, I, I did the fainting episode and probably should have gone to the doctor immediately, but it was Christmas and I was busy and I thought I'll just do it after the holidays. And then um, unfortunately, my husband passed away in January very suddenly, and again, I ignored my own health issues, had other things to take care of. So it was probably about six weeks before I went to the doctor, told him about passing out. We did an MRI um, of my head, and it showed absolutely nothing. Um, so we kind of rolled out any major issues. Um, and then probably over the next year or two, the intestinal issues got worse. I saw a gastroenterologist. We did all the scoping that they would normally do to see if you have any type of um, intestinal issues and everything was normal again. Um, they contributed to stress of commuting from Pittsburgh to Chicago for work and all the other things I was kind of managing you know, with my life. So once again, I kind of ignored it and said, it's just something I have to live with. But in the back of my mind, I knew something was still wrong. I mean, I just didn't feel right.